In this episode, we talk about principle one of how to win friends and influence people. Don't criticize, condemn, or complain. What's up everyone, this is Jake Voorhees and you're watching episode 18 of the 1% Engineer Show. Now that we know that this book specifically caters to engineers, we can pay attention and break down these lessons so that you can deploy them in your engineering career and have a better job, better career, better professional road, probably make more money, get better salaries, things like that. Principle one, the first lesson of this book is don't criticize, condemn, or complain. This is one thing I think is specifically challenging for engineers, and I can use myself as an example here. I used to believe that we're taught to question, we're taught to challenge people and say, why do we do this? Why are we doing it that way? Isn't this better? And I would just blow it off as this is part of the engineering thinking. But really, no one likes that. Really, you're just upsetting people and you're not being likable in this fashion, particularly in groups of people. If you're challenging and questioning and criticizing others in front of their peers, it's definitely a bad thing. And as you know, you're always in the people business. So if people aren't liking you at any given time, it's just not good in terms of career and professional and classroom and research and college opportunities in general, so this is a bad thing. So let's look back at a historic figure, an engineer in some ways himself, Benjamin Franklin. One secret of Benjamin Franklin's success, as said by himself, was quote unquote, I will speak ill of no man and speak all the good I know of everybody. Basically what that means is any negativity about some person or subject, you would never bring that up only speak the positives about people. No criticism. And there's two takeaways from this, okay? People typically are gonna think what they already think anyway. Even if you say that they're doing something wrong or you are trying to have them discover something about whatever they're doing that you believe is incorrect, it really doesn't matter what you say. They're gonna continue thinking whatever they believe after that. So it's in vain. What you're really just going to do is have them dislike you. You're going to instill resentment in them towards you. And that's a severed relationship that could have been a productive one. It could have been a homework teammate. It could have been a potential connection to something. You never know. But you, in a minor fashion, burned a bridge by criticizing this person. So don't do it. And two, people may not remember what you said, but they will definitely remember how you made them feel. This is one thing that's said by many business people and many professional speakers that we are emotional people. We're not always going to register the analog moments that you said, what, why, when, where, but it's the emotion that we hold on to. Were they excited about talking to you? Did they enjoy that conversation? And if you are criticizing that person, they're only going to remember that they felt negative after this engagement. And that's one thing that criticism is going to leave with people. So don't do it. Many people can criticize and condemn, but it takes self-control and character to understand. I'm just gonna repeat this, but people are gonna believe what they want anyways. Simon and Garfunkel have a song where the lyrics says, a man hears what he wants and disregards the rest. And if you wanna have an example about condemning, this book specifically talks about engineering again, which is amazing and really is fate for the 1% engineers to learn about this. He uses the situation of a safety manager, an engineer at work, and is responsible for managing his own of people who are wearing hard hats. And he walks around and ensures that everyone is wearing their equipment. And this manager finds that if he leads with authority and threatens his workers about what may happen to them, if they're caught not wearing the hard hat, he might achieve the goal in the short term, but when he leaves, his workers just take off the hard hat. And in the example in the book, this manager tries a new approach one day. He first asks and seeks to understand and goes to his employees and says, are the hats uncomfortable? Do they not fit? Also in a pleasant tone, but I wanna remind you, these really are for your safety, so I would appreciate it if you wore them. It's actually required, it's in your best interest. And after this approach, not coming down as an authoritarian and actually trying to encourage positive behavior, he had much better results. And in terms of avoiding condemnation, this is another example of seeking to first understand and then be understood. 
This is principle five of Stephen Covey's book, Seven Habits of Influential People, which will probably be a 1% engineer series later on. And about complaining, I guess we should touch on that since this is part of the first principle. It's just crap anyway. Nobody wants to hear anyone complain. No one cares about whatever you're complaining about. Everybody has their own stuff going on and they just don't want to hear it. They don't want to be around that negative environment. I just did a blog post about this on Untouched Magazine. Shout out to you where one of my top five tips for STEM people is about attitude, attraction attitude. And if you're just positive and you avoid complaining because no one wants to hear it anyway, you will be more attractive. People want to be around your positivity if you're always optimistic and you just eliminate complaining from your ecosystem entirely. That's what you have to do. Don't complain. And if you do this, you will find that people want to be around you. People will like you more. People just are attracted to you like a magnet. So keep in mind these lessons for your everyday life and you will have a better career, better professional situation, better team environments with your classmates, everything under the sun. If you do not criticize, condemn, or complain. If you like these videos, guys, please subscribe. It helps me reach more engineers. Thanks for watching the 1% Engineer Show, guys, and stay hungry on your quest to become a 1% engineer. Cheers.